Bavin baldness has baffled dermatologists for decades. From minoxidil's blood flow boost to hormone blocking pills and transplants, treatments have merely patched thinning spots, but none can reverse hair loss yet. QPP405, UCLA's lab engineered molecule promising a full follicle reboot, not just a band aid. Forget injections and miracle shampoos. What if one lab made molecule could flip a genetic switch in your scalp and cure baldness at its source? According to the American Hair Loss Association, roughly half of men and 25% of women will experience pattern hair loss by age 50. That's androgenetic alopecia, the most common form driven by genetic sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone DDH, which shrinks follicles over time. Then there's alopecia areata, patchy autoimmune-driven hair loss that can strike in a single night. Telogen effluvium is where stress or illness triggers massive shedding, usually temporary. Collectively, these conditions form a global hair growth treatment market north of $8 billion, projected to grow at about 6% annually through the end of the decade. Yet, in more than 30 years, only two drugs, minoxidil and finasteride, have earned FDA approval for pattern baldness, and neither truly rebuilds what's been lost. That stagnation stems from a simple truth. Hair follicles cycle through growth, rest, and shedding in a delicate dance governed by stem cells buried deep in the skin. Legacy treatments focus on the outer loop, widening blood vessels or blocking DHT, but they leave the central choreographer untouched. Transplants simply relocate live follicles, never coaxing inactive ones to spring back to life. As UCLA cell biologist William Lowry puts it, we've been treating hair loss like a traffic jam, rerouting what we have instead of fixing the underlying signal that tells cells when to go. Long before PB405, researchers knew the wake-up button existed. No one had figured out how to press it safely. Enter PB405. This pint-sized molecule zeroes in on a metabolic protein that normally keeps follicle stem cells in deep dormancy. By binding it to that protein, PB405 lifts the metabolic break and shifts cells from their idle resting state into active growth mode. If you picture your follicles as cars sitting in park, PB405 is the key turning the ignition. In lab dishes and animal models, this switch flip led to robust hair shaft formation and crucially, no major off-target effects. That safety profile convinced Lowry and colleagues, including UCLA biochemist Heather Christoph and chemist Michael Yon, to spin out Pillage Pharmaceuticals in early 2024, raising $16.4 million from Google Ventures to kickstart human trials. Those trials are already underway. A phase one safety study in Orange County in late 2023 enrolled a small group of volunteers who applied a PB405 topical cream nightly for one week. The results? Statistically significant regrowth, not just fine peach fuzz, but emerging strands of full thickness hair and minimal side effects beyond mild scalp tingling. We knew the bench data looked good, Lori says, but seeing actual hair reappear in human trials? That was our moon landing. With phase 2A now enrolling around 60 participants across several US sites, Pilar aims to collect placebo-controlled data on dose response curves and longer application schedules with top-line results expected in late 2025. In healthy hair cycles, stem cells tucked into follicles bulb region rely on finely tuned balance of metabolic signals to decide when to wake up and start dividing. Normally, a specific mitochondrial transporter protein acts like a dimmer switch, challenging cells into a low-energy, quiescent state where they sit idle until the next growth phase. PB405 slips into that system by binding directly to the transporter's regulatory site. Once docked, the molecule effectively lifts the metabolic break, shifting the cell's energy production away from slow, steady, oxidative phosphorylation toward a faster, glycolysis-driven program. This rerouting floods the cells with building blocks, nucleolides, amino acids, lipids needed for DNA replication, protein synthesis, and ultimately construction of new hair shafts. In essence, PB405 reprograms the follicles' internal fuel economy from conservation mode into full throttle growth.
but the precision of PP405 goes beyond simply boosting cellular energy. By targeting a transporter specific to hair follicle stem cells, the molecules avoid many of the off-target effects that plague broader acting therapies. Unlike finasteride, which can alter hormone levels system-wide, or minoxidil, which can irritate surrounding skin and cause unwanted vasodilation, PP405 remains largely confined to the local scalp environment. Early pharmacokinetic studies show that less than 5% of topical dose enters the bloodstream, dramatically reducing the risk of systemic side effects. And because it works at the level of stem cell metabolism rather than hormonal pathways or physical grafts, PP405 promises a fundamentally different approach, one that speaks directly to the root of hair regeneration rather than merely palliating surface symptoms. Experts outside UCLA are cautiously optimistic. Dr. Anjali Mehta, a board-certified dermatologist in New York, notes that timing is critical. The earlier you intervene in pattern balding, the more follicles you save. A molecule like PP405 could redefine treatment guidelines, pushing intervention into a true regenerative phase rather than the palliative care. Patient advocates emphasize the psychosocial stakes. Surveys show nearly 60% of people with visible hair loss report lowered self-esteem and social anxiety, and those numbers can spike in younger demographics. A treatment that actually restores hair could ripple far beyond looks, improving mental health and quality of life. Of course, PP405's path isn't guaranteed. Pillage must navigate dose optimization, formulation stability, manufacturing scale-up, and the FDA's rigorous safety and efficacy benchmarks. A successful Phase 2 could propel a larger global Phase 3 by 2026, aiming for regulatory submission in 2027 or 2028, potentially landing PP405 on pharmacy shelves by 2029. If all goes well, the company forecasts annual revenue in the hundreds of millions, capturing just a fraction of that multi-billion dollar market. Beyond baldness, PP405 story carries wider implication of regenerative medicine. By demonstrating that a small molecule can precisely control adult stem cells' metabolic state, UCLA researchers have opened doors to innovation in wound healing, skin rejuvenation, and even organ repair. It's a reminder that sometimes a big scientific leap comes not from the giant discoveries, but from finding the right key to a stubborn lock. As we await more clinical data, the buzz is already palpable. Social media threads are lighting up with before and after photos from trial sites. Biohackers are dissecting PV405's molecular structure and investors are scouting follow-on funding rounds. More than a cosmetic fix, PV405 represents a shift in mindset from managing hair loss to curing it. If UCLA's tiny molecule live up to its promise, pattern baldness may have perplexed dermatologists for generations, but in PP405, we see the potential for genuine cure. No more banned solutions, no more endless sprays and pills, just a targeted science-packed reboot that could restore both hair and confidence. Whether you're already thinning, considering preventive measures, or simply intrigued by cutting-edge biotech, keep an eye on Pillage Pharmaceuticals and the unfolding saga of PP405.